And I think actually this is three things that is extremely important right now. And I think the first thing is actually trust. And I think trust both between people in the society, but also between people living in society, political institutions and the government. I think that is key. And that, that is also key in how effective actually your economic policy can be. Because if people trust you, you have very low transaction costs. People trust that the, the kindergarten is good, the schools are good. Um, so you get the society very much better. And you can also have a much more executive and stronger political leadership, I think, coming into economic crisis. Because people, if people trust politicians, they listen more. You can also, I think, use more of the, the power in the whole society. And the other thing is, and that is actually my main conclusion myself after working uh, in a couple of elections, that is that every election is about the future. You very often think that the elections is about what has been or how much people like spe specific politicians. But my conclusion is, I would say in every, every election that is about the future. And then of course the, the, uh, the questions about the future can be addressed in different ways. It could be a question about who do you trust governing the country in the future, or could be much more issue-based. But I think, and it's very, very easy when you're coming into majority positions and in government that you very much come into this more, uh, that you have to defend everything you have done. You always have to be critical about what's happening in society. You always have to be out there speaking about what is the thing that political has to, 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 to have a solution for. I think that is extremely important and something that we have done in Sweden, I would say quite successfully, is actually that uh, once one day every week since Fredrik Reinfeldt was actually elected as party leader but then as prime minister, he's out traveling in Sweden, meeting people working in, in healthcare, in kindergartens, in, in companies, not much the established society, but just meeting people around all of Sweden, one day every week as a prime minister. And that has been extremely important because you always get a picture about what, is, what do people speak about, what is the problems, uh, and you get always be reminded about what is the thing you have to do. And the third thing is actually uh, also very connected to what you spoke here with Höyre, to that you have to focus on your own politic and you have to focus on the society. You never have to focus on, on other parties and your main competitor is never social democrats. It's always like unemployment, uh, negative growth or what the problems of society is. And I think the perspective is extremely important. And also when we started the renewal of the moderate party late 2003, it was actually one of the main decisions was also that we have to stop focusing on the social democrats, we have to focus on Sweden and ourselves. Of course, you, know, you don't get uh, always so much media on that, because uh, the dramaturgy in media, the people active in the party, they want to have like hard debates, hard fights, they want to, that you should knock down the other one. But people uh, sitting in the sofas at home watching television, they want something else. They want politicians that are reflecting, that is focusing on the future, not on the history. And they want also politicians that want to find consensus. Uh, so I think it's always very, very important to uh, decide whom are you talking to, what is our perspective. And in that, that perspective, it has also been very important for us not to be uh, a part or not to listen to special interests. You always have to be... Uh, a party that is good for the general. Uh, and for us, and I think that is something for a lot of center-right-wing parties, that a lot of people think that you are, for example, more connected with the employers than the labor unions. You have to show that you are not that. You are looking into the general interest. People are working, people are unemployed. You, you have to make that very clear. And that has been very important for us in terms of special interest groups, uh, public relations consultants, that you have to be free from that. You have to be a part of the society and always look to the general interests. And that is, I think, something that is very important if you have the ambitions to be a, one of the bigger parties. And I think looking into Sweden, we are a, a, a society with a lot of parties. We are now eight parties in the parliament, but we are two bigger parties. We have uh, around 30% and the Social Democrats also around 30%. 
we see that in Sweden, 52% think that uh, the government is doing well and 18% bad. And I think that what we see in, in Sweden is we see now a rising interest to be a part of political parties, uh, to be a member of political parties. And actually we have uh, the same level now as we had after the killing of Ulf Palme, and that was historically uh, extremely high. If we see the, how, how the job performance of the government, uh, six out of ten think the government is performing well, uh, two out of ten uh, performing bad. Uh, the opposition leader in Sweden, his name is Håkan Juholt. You can see the, uh, how people rate their political competence. We have 72 for the prime ministers and 28 for the opposition leader. Uh, and of course, if, you're, if you are part of the global world with very much of economic crisis, it's very important to be very aware of the, the trust issue. Uh, and I think that you can lose elections because of distrust. I don't think you can win elections because you only have trust. But that creates a platform, of course, to talk to people. Uh, what voters uh, like and which government they re-elect is actually governments that are reform-oriented. And I think the, the Sweden politics in Sweden has been extremely reform-oriented the last years. And I think the voters uh, are appreciating that. We have done dramatic things in the uh, labor market. Uh, and we was just ranked, uh, I think it was three or four days ago, as the most creative country in the world. So we have found some sort of formula in the Swedish society where we can actually have strong political institutions, quite high taxes, but also with very long, uh, much of individualism, and you also see that in the structure of the uh, the business life, with a lot of creatives in, in fashion, in IT, in, in internet, and so forth. And what is political leadership about? And building trust. That is about understanding the the polit the, the society uh, of the na of the nation, and actually to take that forward to the future. So to to understand and to talk about the, the, the country in the right way, I think it's, it's important. And this was the election result 2010, and that says something about the political landscape. These four parties, that is the coalition in government. The tradition has been that if you go from social democrats and come here, it was a very long journey for people. You maybe start there and maybe go there, and after eight years you can go there. But the landscape is totally difficult now. What's happening in both elections 2006 and 2010, that was we won voters directly from Social Democrats. And what you see now in terms of pollings is that the flow goes directly from the big parties. And I think that is also an answer a little bit about the, the big parties. Uh, so that was very, very important. Uh, the government issue, you don't win it from there, there, or there. You have to win it from there. Or people who are not voting. So what we actually uh, had to do was uh, a little bit to go from being perceived as an old wing, old right wing party, uh, very special interest oriented towards the, uh, the employers, to be what we can call a more modern, inclusive center right wing party. It's a very big transformation. And that is also why we now call us the new moderates. Uh, and that has been very important. And why? Because we are the new moderates. So they have to think, can I vote maybe for the new moderates? And a lot of people actually did. So, and the uh, analysis of the election 2006 was very much that we were the party where most, most voters were most curious about. 